Hi, it's Marie with Impeccable Plate, and today I'm going to show you a recipe with spaghetti squash. When you go to the store, they're going to look like this. When you go home, you're going to wash them first before you cut them. With a knife, you're going to go to the center and towards the end, go around. And you have the spaghetti squash open. We're going to have seeds in the middle. So what you do with a spoon, you scrape the seeds out and toss them. Once you have the spaghetti squash cleaned out, you're going to add some olive oil, just a little bit, and season it with a little salt and pepper. Then, in a grease pan, you're going to take the squash and put it face down. And depending on the size of the spaghetti squash, cooking time can take between 20 to 30 minutes. So these are pretty small. It'll be probably 20 minutes on 400 degrees. And the way you know it's ready, they're going to be tender. And depending on how you like them, if you want them with the you know, with a little crunch, you can just um, take them out at your liking. So my spaghetti squash already, and with a fork, you're just gonna lightly move them up, and they're gonna remain like this until we prepare the filling. We'll leave it on the side. You can add any vegetables you want and if you have chicken you can also um, use grilled chicken as well. Um, a lot of you probably buy rotisserie chicken at the store and you don't know what to do with it. Just save the breasts of the rotisserie chicken because they're lean and you can chop them and use it with this dish or if you want shrimp you can do the same thing. So our pan is hot we're going to add some olive oil, always fresh garlic, and you let it cook for about a minute until you can smell the aroma. We're going to add our carrots, and the carrots that I'm using, you can just buy them already shred it at any grocery store. We'll add fresh red peppers. And if you have onions, you can add them as well. You just play with vegetables and this dish really has no boundaries. You can add anything you want. We're gonna season our vegetables with a little salt. And pepper. If you have fresh black pepper, it's even better. It's a very, very intense flavor. Again, your vegetables is to, gonna be to your liking. If you like them um, soft, you let them cook in as long as you want. But if you want a little crunch, you basically decide where you want to stop the cooking. Then we'll add our spinach, fresh spinach. And it looks absolutely wonderful. I love playing with colors when I cook. I think it gives the food character. And of course, it's pleasing to the eye.
All right. We're not gonna let the spinach roll too much. We're taking it off the stove now. And now we're gonna add the main ingredient, which is pesto. You can buy pesto already prepared at the store. And I'm just gonna dig in to get just the pesto and not a whole lot of the oil since I already put oil in the dish. It looks absolutely delicious. You can put as much or as little as you wish. And it smells fantastic. I'm gonna use a quarter cup of Parmesan teas. And I'm pretty sure you know where I'm going with this. Our spaghetti squash now, front and center. I'm gonna take my vegetables and stir them into the spaghetti squash. And it already looked and smells delicious. Yum. Top it up with more vegetables. Always more vegetables. Good for you. Kids will eat it. Grown up will love it. And everybody's healthy. Then to top it and make everyone happy, we're gonna put some mozzarella right on top. Delicious. Like I said on this dish, you could also add grilled chicken or you can do shrimp, grilled shrimp already cooked, mix into it, it'll be absolutely fantastic. Now to top it, we're gonna take fresh basil, shred a little on them. It'll melt with the cheese for maximum flavor. Yum. Then we'll put it in the oven, about 425 degrees until the cheese melt and our spaghetti squash will be ready to eat. So our spaghetti squash dish is all done and it looks absolutely delicious. Remember, good nutrition is all about choices. If you were to do spaghetti, you would have 220 calories in one cup of spaghetti, but one cup of spaghetti squash will only yield 40 calories. So each of them, even if you were to eat the whole thing, with all these vegetables and light cheese, it's still get free. So, just gonna show you what it looks like. Enjoy it real quick. Look at all this goodness. And I'm gonna try it. Mm. Absolutely. So hopefully you'll try it at home. And if you do, remember to post a picture. We'll love to see you. In the meantime, stay healthy and take care.